Many After Effects users, especially those that are new to After Effects, don't even realize that when you buy After Effects, you actually have access to a huge collection of free plugins from a company called Sycor. Now, if we go over here to the Effects and Presets panel and I type CC, we'll see all these effects that start with CC. There are so many, almost 60 of them, that come with this Sycor collection that ship with After Effects. One of my favorite Sycor effects is CC Radio Fast Blur. This creates this kind of uh, zoom blur effect. And there is a zoom blur like that in After Effects too, but this one renders way faster. So it's kind of cool. So if you want to kind of go through time, a dream sequence or something like that, pretty good stuff. I'm just going to delete that. One other thing that you should be aware of as far as the Sycor effects go, generally speaking, they are much more basic and simple than the After Effects effects. Later on this chapter, for example, we'll be looking at an effect called Shatter that comes with After Effects. It's like this really powerful explosion a simulation engine. It is very complex and difficult to wrap your head around, but there is a much simpler version of the effect that comes with the Sycor effects. It doesn't have as many controls, but it's significantly easier to use. Here's an example. I'm going to type CCR, and I'm going to apply CC Rain. And basically, this is a good example of a Sycor effect. Not too many parameters here. But we just apply it, I hit the space bar, and instantly there's rain in our castle scene. Is it something you'd see in a Hollywood movie? Definitely not. And it doesn't have a lot of even basic rain parameters. There's not wind and other things like that that you can do to this rain. You can't set it to hit objects and maybe bounce the water off of them or whatever. And so it's limited, but it's also very simple. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have them installed. The second thing you need to do is just go to town, play with them. Next, we'll be looking at how to use blur effects.